Hey guys, what's up? It's DJ TLM. You're checking out DJ TLM TV. And this video is part of my special Serato Scratch Life series. In the next couple of videos, I'll be taking you through the setup menu step by step. And in today's video, we're going to calibrate the DJ set with Serato Scratch Live. I'm going to go into my setup menu, click on setup. And over here, you have these two input graphs. Now, the step that we're going to take right here is to make sure that the control signal from the control vinyl or control CDs is being received correctly by Serato Scratch Live. The control signal is what it's all about. It makes sure that Serato understands what type of movements I'm making with my turntables and my control vinyl. First thing we're going to do right now is put the needles on the vinyl and press play. Now you don't need to load songs. I have two songs loaded but I'm going to keep my audio down because it's not about the music. It's about the signal from your control vinyl. Press play. Now this is what you're supposed to see. You're supposed to see these circular patterns right here. And mine aren't totally clean. You can see these little specks, these little dusty vibes going on there. And that's because I'm using my worn down dusty old copies to do this video. So if your vinyl is clean and new, then you won't have that dusty pattern going on. But anyway, let's continue. The circular pattern is what we're looking for. Uh, they're the right size, they're nice and round, so that's good. Sounds like I'm talking about something else. But anyway, um, let me show you the info that's in the screen right now. Right here you have the position of your needles. It's not very important right now. Here you have the speed of your turntable, and my turntables are set to play at 33.3 RPM, so that's correct. And down here, this is important, it shows that the signal, the control signal, is being received 100%. So if you put the needles on the record, hit play, and you're not getting the circular patterns, there's a couple of things you can do to adjust the signal. You have your left-right balance, and you have your phase and anti-phase, and both of these can change the shape to make it a more round circle if necessary. If by any chance your circle is smaller, like this, this allows you to change the size and increase the input signal. It's perfect like this. If you're not getting a circle at all, but you're getting a line like this, this means that it's not getting the signal in the stereo. I just took out one part of the stereo RCA plugs from my turntable to the Serato box and let me plug it back in there you go so if you're not getting the circle then there's something wrong with the connection from the turntable to your Serato audio interface okay there's one more thing we need to do right now and that's set the sensitivity level Serato's sensitivity level for background audio so the needles on your vinyl are going to be sending the control signal but the needles also pick up background noise, including the music that's playing in the venue or club, wherever you're at. So what we're going to do is leave the needles on the record, on the vinyl, but don't press play. You're going to press and hold the estimate button. Now, right now it's quiet because there's no music playing. So don't test this when it's quiet, because if it's quiet, this is what's going to happen. It's going to go all the way to the left, and I'll show you what happens if you were to play in a club with your sensitivity level set like this. As you can see, my audio is moving without the needles and the vinyl moving. It's simply moving because of my voice. The needles are catching my voice, and since it's set to be as sensitive as can be, this is enough to move your audio imagine if that happens when you're playing in a club that's not what you want to see happen so this is way too sensitive so make sure you test this hold that estimate button while the background noise is playing you see it already went way up just by my voice but make sure there's music playing at the same level that it would be playing 
at night. Or if you're coming in and there's already a DJ playing, then the, the noise is going to be at that level already. If you're testing this without sound playing, you got to make the noise. So use one turntable to play the music. So for instance, I can use turntable two to play music. I'm not going to play that loud here right now, but play it on one deck and then test the other deck. And after that, switch it around, play music on this deck, and test this deck. So those are two things you need to check. Make sure that your control signal is being received correctly by Serato and set the sensitivity level. That's all you need to do to calibrate. I took my time to explain, but you can see that you can do this quite fast and normally it takes me like 30 seconds to have this done. All right, guys, that's it. That's all you need to know. Now you can calibrate your DJ set with Serato Scratch Live and do this before every gig because that control signal needs to reach Serato correctly. And make sure that you check your equipment if you're not getting the correct signal. So it could be an RCA cable that's not plugged in the right way like I showed you. Uh, it could also be a faulty cable on the turntable. And always check your needles, your cartridges because sometimes all you have to do is this is old school take the cartridge off the tone arm make that a little wet and put it back on the tone arm I have no technical explanation maybe one of you has you can drop it in the comments down below but that can help sometime to make the signal go through the right way I hope this helps you can catch me in the next video because we have a lot of stuff to go through. The whole setup menu is coming up, all the functions, so I'll see you next time.